Hi, and welcome to IDSP 10. Uh, my name is Dian Hochleb, and together with Leslie Chan, I'll be leading this course. Uh, really looking forward to getting to know you guys and uh, diving into uh, the topics. Um, one of the platforms we'll be using for this course is called Connect to Create. It's actually created at uh, uh, OEZ at the University of Toronto. And it's a really neat discussion forum. I'm going to briefly go through how you use it. Um, you can get to it either through a link in the Blackboard portal or uh, there will also be links from the different topic pages on the wiki. So when you, uh, when you go there, um, you'll see a page that looks something like this. And you'll see here a list of different forums. Um, on, the, on the right, you see this My Collections. And uh, collections are kind of uh, your uh, private clickbooks. So uh, you can create some folders. And if you come across interesting messages that you kind of want to bookmark, uh, you can add them to your collection. And you're the only one who can see them. So if you find uh, messages that you want to respond to later, or maybe they would be useful for your project, you could add them there. Now, if we go back here and we look at the, the forums, um, we have some forums that will be open to the whole group. Um, if you have any questions about the course, uh, whether it's about the exam or about the technology or anything at all, uh, you can ask the question here. Um, of course, that's public, so if you have something um, that you wouldn't want anyone else to see, you can email us privately as well. Um, Off-topic is kind of just for general socializing, if you guys want to get to know each other. Uh, but remember that it's still an official course forum, so, so keep uh, you know a, a polite tone. Now, the main discussion in this course is going to be happening in the weekly discussion forums. So if I click on Show All Subforums here, um, you'll see you'll see that um, there are four groups, and these correspond to the four tutorial groups. Just look at the last number in, in your tutorial group. And uh, you, you're welcome to read what, what's written in the other tutorial groups, but try to uh, keep your contributions to your own group. Um, and we split it up like this to make it easier for you guys to manage, because with um, something like 80, 85 students, uh, if everyone was just posting in the same group, it would be quite um, hard to manage and a lot of stuff for you guys to read. Um, so if you're part of, and you'll be in the same group for the 12 weeks, so we really hope that you can, you know, develop some uh, some neat discussions and, and uh, really help each other to understand the material. Uh, so let's say you're in tutorial group one, you can just click on that and it will open a list of the people who have uh, posted already. And um, you see this indenting here means that this is an answer to this previous message. Now, if I, so there's actually different ways of reading these messages. Um, I can click on this message here. Uh, it's colored yellow, which means that this is the message I'm currently reading. And you see here to the right, you can read the message. Um, this bar you can actually move as well if you want to uh, change the layout. Uh, you can also choose to view um, note content and then you'll actually be able to see the contents of each uh, node uh, directly underneath each other. Um, now if you find a message that you find interesting and you want to reply to it, so let's say I want to read this message now um, and I want to write a reply, you'll just click reply here And um, there's a bunch of buttons here, but you don't have to worry too much about them. Uh, many of these buttons are quite similar to what you'd find in, for example, uh, Microsoft Office. And so just used to format the text in different ways. You can insert a link to a picture um, by clicking here. Um, either uh, type in the URL to a picture that you've already posted online, or you can even upload a file uh, from your hard drive. And try to make sure if you do that, that it's resized so that um, it doesn't take up too much space on the page. Um, you can also link to a YouTube video or to any other web page. So I'll just uh, type something here. Um, if you want to link to other messages, um, that's something that we encourage because we'd like to see people 
make reference to other people's writing, um, whether from the current week or even from previous weeks. Uh, there are two ways of doing that. If um, if the message is on the on the left here, you can actually just drag and drop it. So if I want to refer to this message, I'll just click on the title and I'll hold the mouse key down and I'll drag it over here to the message and I'll just drop it there and you see that it copied the text and it's actually a link. Um, another way you can do it if it's um, if you're trying to copy from a different forum, for example, uh, you can just select the title and you just use the copy to uh, and then you paste it into the message like that. We have to give this message a title and you see there are two choices here. First one asks you to whether you want to save this note as a draft. What that means is nobody else will be able to see this message um, and it's something you can use if you're writing a long message and you need to step away from the computer or maybe um, go to another computer to continue working on it. Uh, so you'll just save it as a draft for now and then when you're done you can publish it so everyone else can see it. If you're replying to a node, which we're doing right here, you also have the choice of making it a private reply, which means that only you and the person you reply to will be able to see the message. In general, uh, we encourage uh, you to make the messages public because that's how we can have a really interesting group conversation. But if you have some comment that you really only want one person to see, then, then you have that option. Anyway, when we're done um, editing our uh, message here, you'll just type save and the message is posted in the forum. And uh, there we have our, our little message. Um, you'll also see that um, if we go back to, to the first week here, you'll see uh, it listing other notes referencing this note. So when you make a link to a note, it'll actually keep track of that and you'll be able to see um, which notes link to each other, which is, which is very useful. Um, now, if I'm reading this note and I say, hey, I want to uh, keep track of this note, this note might be really handy for me in the future, I can use this collect bar and it asks me which folder and I already made this one folder. Uh, so I can just choose that and add and that just puts that message into my uh, folder and anytime I can go in and I can I can look at all those uh, messages. So that's basically it. I mean there's a few other features uh, you can search for messages either by who wrote it or the contents of the message. Um, there's some built-in help. Um, you can see who has written who has read the note um, by clicking on this information uh, icon and uh, and you can uh, get some statistics on, on the entire course by clicking on, on this engagement. You can see how many people have posted and how much they've posted and so on. Um, there's a lot of really interesting features, but uh, the basic is, is just um, make sure to log in uh, ideally early in the week and then uh, later in the week um, to be able to follow the discussion. Um, think about how you contribute, you know, um, make sure that you have something meaningful to say Make sure that you're adding to the conversation and uh, hopefully, you know, this will be a really useful tool. And uh, we look forward to reading what you have to say and to engage with you um, during the, the course of this uh, course. If you have any questions at all, um, we're going to do a live session on Friday. And we're happy for you to ask questions then or um, ask questions directly on the forum or by email. Uh, have a great course.